What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Q. And so this weekend I got to finish Invincible and bro. I gotta tell you, just from like the first episode, I'll post a video up there, how impressed I was with it. It stayed that way through the whole series, man. Omni-Man is the worst dad ever, bruh. <laughs> Omni-Man is like if Homelander and Joe Jackson did the fusion dance from Dragon Ball. Became like a super ultra terrible dad. Super Saiyan terrible dad, basically. <laughs> dude is trash, bro. This dude destroyed his son. It is probably one of the worst ass beatings I've seen in a cartoon in a good minute. I mean, he knocked this man through a mountain. He punched him so hard he broke a mountain. He knocked him through a cruise liner. He destroyed a whole metropolitan city with him with like a single punch. And he did this thing where he took him by like the back of the head and murdered a whole subway full of people with him. It was creatively destructive. It was super gory. And it was amazing, bro. You got to check this out. <laughs> you got to check it out. The series overall is amazing. They did a really good job with pacing. Like, I genuinely can't think of an episode in the season where I was like, this one was kind of boring. It's like they kept that pace the whole season. You know how like you watch anime sometimes and even when it's not like a filler arc, sometimes some episodes will be so slow that it'll feel like filler. You never got that feeling with it. So at least I didn't, man. It was, it was... It was just a good show, man. It's cool because it's got me hyped for the next season because I don't know where they go with it. This is like a really good setup. Like, it was like a setup season, but you didn't really resolve anything because his dad bodied him, full bodied him, and then let him know that their whole planet is full of like the strongest warriors that like kill off the weaker ones. So it's always the strongest ones. And it's not like, like Dragon Ball or like Superman where it's like, oh, our planet's destroyed. So there's only a handful of us. Nah, it's, it's a planet full of these dudes and they're still coming. And he couldn't even handle his dad. Not, not even like remotely put up a fight. He got stomped. And that's the one person who had like an emotional bond with him. His dad had love for him and still He'll beat the hell out of him. So any of these other ones are just going to murder people, okay? Which is funny because if you think about it, the only reason his dad didn't kill him is because he beat him so bad that he knocked out his front teeth and it made him have flashbacks of when his son was a little boy that was missing his front teeth. That that's so odd. Like, yeah, I beat his ass so bad. I knocked out most of his teeth and it's like, you look like, you know, when you were a baby. That's weird, bro. It, bro. Such a good show. It is such a good show. If you have Amazon, I, I definitely say watch it. Or if you can acquire it, I don't judge. I would suggest checking it out. For me, it's like a 10 out of 10. It was it was an unexpectedly good jewel. And I can't wait for the next season. Let me know in those comments if you saw it. Were you hyped? Did you like it? What do you think about it? What do you think is going to happen next season? But yeah, man, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Don't make it weird. I guess that works.